So to begin with, we're going to cut out this telescope. I've already done this and provided you the cutout file so you can examine how I've done this in greater detail. But this is what we're gunning for. Here's the original cutout. We have a, a layer with a vector mask applied and we've used the pen tool to cut out all the shapes. The layers underneath allow for visual feedback while we're cutting out the image. Let's set this up. So I've got just the standard JPEG here and we'll have a look at how I cut this out. So when I'm doing clear cutting and I need it to be a very good, very accurate clear cut, I go straight for the pen tool and I do it on a vector mask. So the way I'm going to do this is to select my background image, duplicate that by pressing Ctrl J. I'm going to create a new layer by hitting Ctrl Shift N my background selector there to generate a new layer. And I'm just going to call this a solid. Um, I could have actually just created a new solid layer, but let's just do it this way to keep it easy. I'm going to grab a color. I'm going to use bright green. And I'm going to grab my paint bucket. I'm going to flood fill that layer bright green. So I have a copy of my telescope, the one I'm going to clear cut on top, a green layer, and my background. This layer here could be any color. I recommend choosing a color that's complementary to the colors that are occurring uh, in your image. Just makes things stand out a bit better. Gives you visual feedback while you're clear cutting. I'm then going to grab my pen tool, select my top layer here, and I'm going to apply to that under layer, vector mask, reveal all. I'm going to apply my vector mask to that and I'm going to select that by clicking on it and I know it's selected when I see this white border around it. And that's going to allow me to start clear cutting out this telescope. It's a bit of a pain to do. This is actually a really good example if you want to get good at the pen tool to cut out because there is so much work to do. Now you'll notice as soon as I start clear cutting uh, I run into some problems here. My image disappears as I'm starting to go around it. That's why I have this solid setup. If you're wondering why I took the time to set up this green layer in between, what I can do is actually drop the opacity on that green layer. And then I can see everything I have clear cut and everything I haven't. You know, what's, what's being masked out will appear slightly green. And what I'm going to see in my final clear cut will come through loud and clear in its proper colors. I'm going to jump back to that vector mask there. And I'm going to pick up the line again and keep going. And pretty much I just go around the whole telescope this way, taking my time to get it right, running around the edges here. It takes quite some time. So an hour later you should have this done. That's the price of a accurate clear cut uh, on such a detailed object as this. You can see I'm rushing it a bit. Um, I'm getting some nasty uh, results there. I'm, I'm not quite on the edge properly through there. But let's pretend I have this done. Remember you have to go back and then get all these little areas that need to be filled in, like this one here. So we need to go back to that, making sure our pen tool uh, is on auto add delete up here. And it should know what to do. We delete that area out. So make sure you go back and do all that. When it's finished, it'll look something like this and you'll have the whole telescope done. And you can see I haven't cheated. Uh, that is actually uh, all vectors there that I have created. Excellent. So that's how I cut out the telescope. Catch you next video.